This is my daughter's tree house we're building. And I got four by sixes. This is a continued video. The lumber prices went through the roof and uh, we had to stop for construction for a while. But I got the hurricane straps on there. I'll probably throw another one right over there. Got the right angle brackets in there. I'm gonna double these boards up. There's a lap joint on the four by sixes. I'm gonna, uh, I got a little bracket that goes into there and bolts through, but we just did the pour. Cement, we went four feet down. We're in the Chicagoland uh, suburbs, far suburbs from Chicago, but that's about closest big city. There's the wife. Um, yeah, okay. There it is. We're gonna go up a level. And uh, I had a board on the front of it. I think it was this board to hold them in before I made the lap joint. I had a uh, poor man's chisel, Milwaukee, and uh, a two inch chisel I got to make these joints. That was the hardest part about it. Uh, my advice is if you do it, my God, do the uh, do your joints first to make sure when you set them, you set them the exact right depth. I didn't want to do them first because I was afraid once I put them in, oh, this one's you know a quarter inch off or this one's you know three eighths of an inch off. So I just did it all in the field, which was harder. I don't like that. But we got steel rebar in the concrete, every one of them. We're getting a special fitting that goes around the tree and has like a bracket that holds this up. The stairs are gonna come down right here. And I wanna have like two levels, like you know, midway down, I wanna have like a platform, maybe like five foot platform and then have it come in, you know, kicking back out the other way. But we'll see. Yeah, but I need to elevate this just a touch. It's all been leveled. And uh, that's that, you know. My daughter's excited, and she's been helping. She's been cutting the grass a lot. Because I really don't want her messing too much with this stuff. But, yeah, kind of cool. If you can, hit the like, subscribe. If you got questions, comments, feel free. If they're positive, I'm good. If they're negative, I don't want to hear it. Uh do what we can do there's limited tools i dropped my saw pulling this thing out and it is the most generic of saws uh there's something up my switch so it's constantly running so we gotta pull the plug it's not safe i don't like it i'm probably gonna end up scrapping the thing out uh or trying to mess with the switch but it just doesn't feel right so yeah well, that's that. I'll give you a broader perspective. Here's the tree. Erica is running from the camera as usual. Oh, yeah, well, there's some limbs in there, but her brother cuts trees. And uh, we're going to have him come out with his boom truck, lop a couple of these bad branches off, and uh, see what he can do with it. But I'll have a roof on there, and, uh, you know, if it comes down on it, it comes down on it, but I doubt anyone's gonna be in there really because she's, uh, winter's coming. These dead ones though, he'll cut. He's got like a 75 foot boom, so he can get all them limbs. I think we'll be fine. But I don't know why this tree is dying. I have no idea. We didn't drill into it or anything. So it's kind of, uh, it's cottonwood. These things never usually die either. You would think that they'd hold up here's a look from the underside you know and I went to a uh, Home Depot interesting thing I got a bunch of 2 by 10s reduced because it was the bottom of the bunk and uh, so they gave me a pretty good discount on them these guys right here I'm using them I like I like these a lot I like these a lot they're uh Spacks, power lags they go in really easy you don't have to pre-drill made in the states exterior grade and they're pretty strong now i'm not relying on these totally to uh and i bought these things from menards i got them from menards i think they were like 42 dollars for a box of 50 is that in there i don't know 
Yeah, but there, here's the SKU number if you guys want to look it up. They're for, you know, 5 sixteenths by 3 and a half inches. So I'm going to use them basically for when I have, I'm going to have this other board on the outside of it. I'm sandwiching another board on the outside of it. This is a 2 by 10 by 10. I'm going to have another 2 by 10 by 10 on top of it. Screwing into that, and I'm going to have like a little bracket that goes like this. Comes out like that. Screws in, like I said earlier. Same thing here. That's offset. That angle, the way this treehouse was, I was going to build it more into the tree. I probably should have went a little bit further away. I probably should have went over there with it and not even done a treehouse and just done like a, like a two-level cabin or something, you know. But uh, we're excited about it. We're doing a little bit every day because I have a nine-to-five and... Uh, yeah, knock on wood, it should be uh, really good. I got the two by 10 on this side and uh, we're getting there. You know, we have uh, a little bit of sunlight left. We're not gonna finish tonight, obviously. But this is just for documenting and uh, here's the rest of our backyard. Here's her old tree house or playhouse, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, that's going down soon. Probably gonna put the slide up somewhere along here. But one day at a time, I uh, had some issues with our truck last night. We were driving. She went to pick some sand up for the chicken coop and the brake line went, so we kinked it off and got her back home. Uh, I drove it home. And uh, you know, what a way to end a Friday night after working all week and you know, but we're safe. I was, I was happy with that. Had to go back to the store today and buy some more uh, them hurricane straps. Now there's two different types. You got the galvanized kind, and then you got these. I went with these. They're a little bit more money, but I guess they're like baked in like so many thousand degree, and then they get this coating on it. So, you know, it's a couple cents more, maybe like 20% more, big deal. You know, I'd rather not have to work on this thing for 30 years. Once it's done, I'm lazy. I don't want to have to work twice on something. So, uh, yeah. So I just want a little bit more uh, heavy on it than most people would have. But build it once. Build it right. Don't build for today. Build for tomorrow. With that being said, I'm signing off. If you can hit that like button, subscribe it, share it, whatever. I don't care. Uh, but it's good to have the support. Uh, we do this for historical purposes. And uh, we do it for those do-it-yourselfers that are, you know, doing things like this around the yard. If you got any questions, feel free. Thanks. Have a good rest of your day and a great weekend.